Well, I came to the first state fair in 1928 with the neighbor boys and came back every year and started showing here in 1932. Our superintendent, the first year I showed, was O.L. Reddish, and I see his name on the plaque on the front of the building where he was uh, on the fair board when the building was built. So that I think the building was built around 1919, as I can remember right there. I've seen the fairgrounds change a lot. I've seen the uh, Coliseum, the old Coliseum that used to be a brown wood building. I've seen the new one built and I saw the new the grandstand has been tore down and removed and, and built and rebuilt. Of course, the saddle horse barn was built while I was still coming here and the draft house barn and the sheep barn have been rebuilt since I first come to the fair. So I've seen a lot of changes here. I usually take in the whole fair. I have a friend that works over in the Pioneer Village on the sawmill over there. I go over and watch Sim for a while and talk to him. And I can walk through most of these barns and meet somebody that I've met before. Like today here in the hog barn, I've probably met 30 people that I've met over the years and kept up with. I'm just so proud of him. He's amazing. He's the best grandpa anyone could hope for. So hardworking. He puts me to shame with his stamina. <laughs> when we come, he'll point out someone that uh, I sold him his first pig. And uh, it's just really amazing. Uh, we go to the, the pork tent every year. He has his only pork shop uh, now that he's doing better with diet. This fair is so huge and all-encompassing and I'm so proud to be part of it. <laughs>